do this song. Let me tell you something about this song. <laughs> I asked old Billy Ray, Billy Ray Cyrus. See, I had an uncle named Uncle Hill Billy Ray. Uncle Hill Billy Ray Virus. And he told me that he invented that little dance. I said, well, how did you invent it? He said he was walking through the pasture one day, and he stepped in a cow patty, and he started going like this. Woo! Uh, <laughs> but then he'll, I went to old Billy Ray Cyrus, and I told him about my uncle inventing that dance. And he said, well, I didn't really invent the dance. He said, I just got my Ben Gay mixed up with my Preparation H. <laughs> Let's do that song for him one time. One, two, three, four. You can tell the world you never was my girl. You can burn my clothes when I'm gone. You can tell your friends what a fool I've been. Laugh and joke about me on the lawn. You can tell my arms go back into the farm. You can tell my feet to hit the floor. You can tell my lips, you can tell my fingertips. They won't be reaching out for you no more. But don't tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart. I just don't think it understands. And if you tell my heart, my achy, breaky heart, about my uncle you know he's a state trooper and uh, I wanted to go out with him one night and he said we could go and catch some people doing something wrong I said I'm for that so <laughs> yeah. I got in the car with him we was driving along and he said what do you want us to do tonight I said I want to see you give somebody a ticket he said all right all I got to do is get behind the car follow him for about five minutes, they'll do something wrong, and we'll write them a ticket. So he got in the car, and I was in there with him, and we took off, and he got behind this car, and he was driving along. And I want you to know, we went about ten minutes. That car never did nothing wrong. So he said, I don't understand that. I ain't never been behind somebody for ten minutes that didn't do nothing wrong. So we drove a little further, about 15, 20 minutes. Guy still didn't do nothing wrong. So my uncle, he was just flabbergasted. He couldn't believe it. So we drove on about 30 minutes later, and the man never did a thing wrong. So my uncle put his lights on. He said, I'm going to pull this guy over and commend him because I ain't never seen nobody drive that safe. He put his lights on. The guy pulled over. My uncle went up to him and said, Sir, I just want to commend you. I have never seen anybody drive as safe and good as you have. The man opened the door and said, Well, 
Well, that's good. When you're drunk, you gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna do you a banjo song right now. Did you say a banjo song? Yeah, I said a banjo song. Oh, I can play a banjo. You can. Yeah. We'll get it. A banjo? That don't look like no banjo to me. Well, it is. <laughs> it's a good toilet. Ain't you ever seen a good toilet? I ain't never seen one. Well, what you gonna pick? Let's do a little Foggy Mountain Breakdown. Kid G, boys. One, two, three. <laughs> conversation between the two deaf musician fishermen? No, I didn't hear about that. Ed, you going fishing? No, I'm going fishing. Oh, I thought you said you're going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> is what you need you say a roll of duct tape and a case of nyquil please yeah give me a bottle of nyquil the rest will sleep my body needs analgesic decongestant antihistamine 
Take only as directed, don't exceed the proper dose. Keep out of reach of children, keep that bathroom cabinet closed. Yeah, give me a bottle of NyQuil, the rest will sleep my body needs. Analgesic decongestant, antihistamine, I joke. They call me NyQuil junkie, I don't know what they mean, but I can't be satisfied unless my tongue is green. Yeah, give me a bottle of NyQuil, the rest will sleep my body needs. Analgesic decongestant, antihistamine. All right, now we're going to take it on out. Blow, Joe, blow. Y'all remember about five years ago when I had that little Evan Rude motor? Yeah, I think yep. I do. I think I do, Paul. Uh, let yeah, me refresh yeah. your memory if y'all remember. <laughs> we was out there fishing on Old Hickory Lake, I believe it was, and uh, down there at Defeated Creek. And uh, I was back there, the motor wouldn't start. And I was back there just a cranking on her, <laughs> trying to get her to go, but she wouldn't start up. <laughs> and I would. kept doing it so much that the motor came off and fell in the in the lake. <laughs> Good Lord. Do you remember what Ernie did? I don't Ernie remember. Did. He runs over, he says, I'll get it. He jumped off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and I was up there trying to cool off. And Eddie, you come back to the back, and you look down and said, you ain't going to believe this, Paul. He's down there trying to start the motor. <laughs> and then, Eddie, what did you tell him? You holler, don't forget to choke it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that yeah. was the good old days. Back when shotgun shells cost so much to buy so many years ago, we used to have to run the rabbits in the ground. That's the only way we could get them. Run them up in the ground or else run right. them up in a hollow in a right. tree. Yeah. Well, and then you have to get a stick and slice off the end of it and run that stick up the hole where the rabbit was. Then we'd start twisting and turning to the right. Mm -hmm. But I want you to know, those rabbits got smart. And they'd start turning to the inside just like that stick was turning. We never could get them out. But I want to tell you something. There was a left-handed fella moved in our community and like to have cleaned us out of rabbits that year <laughs> before they ever caught on to what he was doing. <laughs>